I hope this is like somewhat symmetrical. I actually just use scotch tape to hold it up. I wonder if you can see that. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been gone from YouTube for quite a bit, but I'm back now. I'm ready to start creating more content. I'm done with my final exam, so now I have quite a bit of time to do things that I really like which includes posting more on this channel and creating more music for you guys. So, yeah. About two days ago that I posted on Instagram, I'll put the post here, I was showing you guys my new hair, and I got quite a few comments and questions about it, so I thought that I'd just make a video adjusting everything, how I achieved this uh, rose, strawberry kind of hair, and as well as the hair care products I use, how I maintain my hair and what I do every day to style it. So if you guys want to know more, then let's just jump right into it. So the hair journey actually like goes back quite a bit. Last December in 2016, I made a trip to Bangkok and I visited a salon there and that's where I balayaged my hair. If you guys don't know what balayage is, it's basically um, a hair technique where the person will hand paint strokes onto your hair so that the colours blend seamlessly from dark to light and it's not just like a line. Yeah, so I did that and I ended up with a kind of light brown, dark blonde colour which I actually really liked. I'll attach some photos. Yeah, so that was how my hair looked like and it wasn't until about uh, three days ago that I decided to be an adventurous person and just slap a colour on my head which resulted in this <laughs> so I got a lot of people asking me which salon I went to to get this colour and I would say that I did it at my toilet salon which sounds kind of strange now that I say it yeah basically I did it by myself and I used this product it's called Arctic Fox and the colour is virgin pink this is what the bottle looks like, I don't think my camera will Auto focus, yeah, yeah, okay. But yeah, it's a semi permanent hair color. It's uh, vegan, not tested on animals, no peroxide, no ammonia, no alcohol. So, what I did was basically to use a um, hair dyeing brush and a bowl. I just mixed, I, I, I dumped in quite a bit of conditioner and then I added in a teeny really bit of colour. You really have to add it bit by bit because this is super concentrated. Then I left it in my hair for about 2 hours, put it in a shower cap, sat in my bed, chilled, watched how to get away with murder. Yeah, it was a fun time. And then I went to wash it out with shampoo and conditioner and this is the result. I really recommend this brand. I know that um, Manic Panic and La Riche Directions and all are quite popular brands but in my experience, Arctic Fox colours have really lasted a longer time on my hair. Okay, so that's how I got this colour. Now let's move on to hair care. I actually just like dumped everything in the box, I know. And now to also maintain the colour, I don't wash my hair as much and I do it on alternate days. So to maintain that and to make sure that it doesn't turn all greasy and gross, I use dry shampoo. This is the Batiste dry shampoo. It is the XXL volume 1 and um, although my hair is already pretty thick, I do like using this because it gives me a lot of volume at the top. Um, I actually have it in my hair right now. This is second day hair. So as you can see, volume. <laughs> but I like that about the product. It really just um, sucks out everything, makes my hair, oh that sounds so gross, okay but yeah, it makes my hair smell nice and uh, feel clean even after the second day. So I really recommend this one, I honestly haven't ventured out to try more brands but I will in the future and I will update you about that. For hair masks, when you chemically treat your hair or you go diet, doing things like hair masks can really help the condition of your hair. So when I did my first belly uh, like when this whole hair transformation thing started, I opted for Olaplex in my bleach. And basically Olaplex is this miracle product that's now in the hair industry. It helps to um, rebuild the sulfite bonds, I believe, inside your hair. And it doesn't just mask uh, the damage by covering it in a layer of smoothness like a lot of masks do. So it's a three-step process. 
In the salon, you can do step one and two. And then they offer step three to take home. It looks like this. Oh dear. I'll just use this once a week. I'll leave this overnight in my hair and when I wake up and wash it all out. My hair really feels different. It feels healthier, smoother. And so I'm really liking what I see. You guys should definitely go check this product out. As for the daily products, I use hair oil. I really like using hair oil because it really just smooths down any of the frizz experience and makes everything just look glossy, shiny and wonderful. So um, this one is the Moroccan oil brand. It's basically argan oil. I just use one pump of this, slather it onto my hair and it's great. I'll leave all the names of the products down, down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. And the second one is this OGX brand. I think I got this at Watson's or something. And it's called the Kukui Oil Anti-Frizz Hydrating Oil. Indulge your tresses with this exotic blend of Kukui Nut Oil, blah blah blah. It's a Hawaiian secret used for its humidity resistant abilities. And that makes it very useful because in Singapore it gets super super humid. But this really helps my hair to stay looking good. So what I do, it comes in a spray bottle. I'll just show you guys. So I just like spray, like three sprays. And then I just run it through my hair. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm good to go. And as for my hair, today I did style it. But usually I won't bother and I'll just tie my hair up in two bands at night. And when I wake up, I'll have nice uh, heatless curls, which is good because you don't want to damage your hair even more with um, by using curling irons every single day. So yeah, that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you took away something new, uh, some new hair products that you want to try out maybe. Yeah, let me know in the comments any thoughts you have. So far, I've been really, really enjoying having a fun color on my head. And if that's what you guys are considering, I definitely recommend that you just try at least once in your life. Life is short, so just... I hate to say it, but YOLO! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! It's not as symmetrical as it could be, but whatever. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. Mm. One, two, three, bye!